yeah now let's uh, look at the accumulated value of a single cash flow if at all the force of interest is given force of interest is more like a continuous uh, interest during a period represented by delta t if at all we are given a force of interest and uh, some initial investment because we are talking about a single cash flow it the question will more, more or less will be like i am investing some x today and uh, the current force of interest is some delta t if that's the case what would be the value let's say at the end of 10 years the same x if i have invested once at the rate of delta t every year which is a continuous uh, rate of interest uh, for the over the period and what would be the value at the end of 10 years if that is the case that is what we are calling as accumulated value or in some cases we even call it as future value so i need to find out uh, the future value of a single cash flow if at all i have an uh, force of interest delta t how do i look at it it is nothing but whatever is the present investment x into e to the power of i integrate it from whatever period 0 to some y years so if i want the accumulation at the end of 10 years i'll do it as 0 to 10 or some cases uh, the question could be a uh, what is the accumulation uh, period uh, what is the difference in the accumulation value between 10 years and 5 years so i'll find out uh, 0 to 10 and 0 to 5 and then do the subtraction between the two or i could do find out what is the accumulation uh, proportion from 5 to 10 the integration will be done from 5 to 10 all we are doing is delta s ds this is what uh, is the mechanism so going to the problem force of interest there are two forces of interest given up to eight years this is the way the interest is applied and above eight years it is said that it is a constant six percent whereas up to eight years it is observed that the interest actually follows such kind of a pattern from that standpoint let's say if i'm uh, going ahead with an initial deposit of 500 bucks i want to find out what would be the accumulated value at the end of 10 years so because we are talking of at the end of 10 years 0 to 8 years it follows this rate and 8 to 10 years it follows this rate so just to start off the accumulated value or a future value is equal to current investment 500 into e to the power of i integrated between 0 to 10 delta s ds now that i know that 0 to 8 this is the delta s i have to use i'll split this integral into two parts 500 e to the power of i'll take 0 to 8 the delta s i take it as 0 0.07 minus 0 0.005 s ds this is what i take as an uh, integral and uh, in the numerator in the power i'll even add from 8 to 10 i'll take it as 0 0.06 ds now this is very clear to integrate 0 0.06 ds the integral this entire thing is in the power don't forget about it 0 0.06 ds integration is nothing but 0 0.06 s right 0 0.06 s which means 0 0.06 into 10 minus 8 whereas uh, this part so this entire thing is in the e to the power itself 0 0.07 the integral is 0 0.07 s which will be integrated between 8 and 0 minus 0 0.005 by 2 s squared for s the integration is s squared by 2 
this could be integrated between 8 and 0. So probably a 0 0.07 into 8, 0 0.56 minus this uh, S squared, a, substituting 8 is 64, 0 is 0. So 64 by 2, 32. 0 0.005 into 32. How much is it? If I compute, if I compute 0 0.005 into 32, it's almost 0 0.16. So 0 0.56 minus 0 0.16 plus 0 0.06 into 2, 0 0.12. This entirely is about uh, e power, so it is coming out to e power 0.52, which will uh, this into 500. So finding out e power 0.52 into 500 gives me 841.01. So I can say that if I deposit 500 right now where the interest rates follow this kind of a pattern for first eight years they follow this pattern and the next uh, uh, for, for anything beyond eight years it follows this kind of a pattern if I want to find out what would be the worth of my investment of 500 bucks at the end of uh, 10 years I can uh, use this integral form. So if at all we have a uh, force of interest kind of uh, scenario, the future value is computed using e power integral of force of interest ds. Right? Uh, this is a simple way to compute and depending uh, on uh, for how many uh, periods if there are different forces of interest for a different time period, we have to be careful in uh, applying uh, all of them so that uh, we don't make any mistake in the final simplification process. Alright?